Hey guys, it's Arika Misha, and today we are cooking pretty much chicken alfredo. Uh, but today I'm going to be using the angel hair noodles. Just like the spaghetti noodles, just a skinny version. That's how I call it. That's how I see it, the angel hair. Just skinny spaghetti noodles, child. Anyway. All right, so I have, y'all know I love Bertoli. I got the Bertoli alfredo sauce. I love the Bertoli brand. Y'all know that I'm always using Bertoli. Um, and I have our Pepperidge Farm Texas Toast, five cheese, mozzarella, cheddar, provolone, Asiago Parmesan. That's a whole lot of cheese going on right there. But just some good stuff. Good bread. So, and I have the Tyson Grilled and Ready Oven Roasted Diced Chicken Breast. And you know what, guys? This is just a quick, easy way to do it. I mean, y'all know, it ain't going to take but, but maybe 10 minutes for the pasta to cook. Put the Texas toast in the oven for about how long? Probably about five minutes. Let me see. Let me read these instructions. I've cooked this before, but I don't remember every single thing. Okay, putting in the oven, preheated oven 425. How long are we gonna put it in there? 425 for five minutes. Four to five minutes. See what I'm saying? Quick and easy. We're gonna boil our pasta. Now the chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and grill the chicken by itself. Get that all cooked up. This is a little quick meal, y'all. Quick, easy meal. Y'all know how I do it. In and out. Um, my daughter, she wanted some chicken Alfredo. She loved herself some Alfredo. Anything Alfredo. Shrimp Alfredo, chicken Alfredo. Anything Alfredo that girl want me to cook. So, I went ahead and I'm going to go ahead and cook it for her. So, let's go. Okay, guys. We got our noodles over there boiling. Let's go ahead. I've got the oven uh, getting itself ready at 425, like my Texas toast said. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to get this Texas toast in. So good. I like the thicker, like the Texas toast kind of garlic bread. I'm gonna go ahead and get this laid out. We got six pieces. Let's go ahead and get them on here. Let's see. Let's see how I'm going to do these. Yeah, let's do it like that. That way they all go in the same way. Everybody getting along. Alright. Quick, easy meal. And y'all can have this any day. Any day of the week, Sunday, whenever you want. I saw a Texas toast. That was easy. Now I'm going to put it in the oven for four to five minutes. Bam, that's it. That's all. I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get our chicken done. I did put about um, two tablespoons of oil in my pan. Go ahead and get our chicken done. Now, remember, our chicken is already cooked, so. Chicken already cooked, guys. I'm just tossing this around. You know, I kept it, it was frozen. So, this is a quick and easy way. Your chicken's already cooked. And anytime you need chicken chunks in something that you're cooking, uh, this is something that's really good to get. And once again, this is the Tyson grilled and ready. So it's already cooked. I got a little oil down in my pan. Just gonna toss this chicken around, you know, get it all heated up. I've got my noodles draining over there. They cooked in like five minutes, quick and easy. And look at this, look at all this chicken. And they're nice big chunks of chicken. Let me take y'all in. Y'all know I gotta put y'all in the business. Okay, let me show y'all the big chunks of chicken. Like really nice sized pieces of chicken. Let me pick one up and show y'all. Look at this. Look at that huge chunk of chicken. Really big pieces. I like that. So I'm getting this all tossed around. The oven is ready for our um, garlic bread. So I'm going to go ahead and get that in the oven. It's hot in there. Alright, we got our garlic bread in. Let me put my timer on for five minutes. 
Yeah, y'all can see that chicken real good. Nice big chunks of chicken. Just tossing it around in the oil. Already cooked. We ain't got to cook it. It's already cooked. And you know what I like about this Tyson chicken? It's already got like an oven roasted flavor. So your chicken's already flavored too, you know? Once I add my um, noodles and my sauce, I'll see what I need to add. I know I'm going to add parsley, child. Y'all know he got to come. I'm going to add a little parsley. I'll see if I need to add a little salt and a little pepper. Um, I'll probably add... Let me see. Okay. Give that a few more minutes to cook. Let me get in my spice cabinet here. Uh, we'll get the salt down. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, I'm going to do the garlic pepper. Garlic pepper seasoning. And then I'm going to do the garlic salt. Yeah, let's do that. Garlic pepper and garlic salt. We'll do that. And you know what I want to do? I do want to add some Parmesan. Parmesan and Romano cheese. I have that. I do want to add that too. So I think that'll be enough to add. Because we've already got the Bertoli. We'll see. Like I said, I'm going to add my Bertoli um, Alfredo sauce first before I add anything. I'll see what else I need. Chicken get all nice and done. I like for it to get a little browner. Tossing that around. I like a lot of meat in my pasta. Don't give me no little bit of pasta and a uh, whole bunch of pasta and no meat. I ain't eating it. Mm -mm. I like a lot of meat in my pasta. Whether it's shrimp, whatever. Hand washed over here. Got our noodles all drained over here. They are ready. Noodles are ready to get in the sauce. The noodles are ready. Okay, noodles. Hold on, child. Alright, let me toss our chicken around a little more. Yeah, I want my chicken to be nice look, a nice golden brown. It's getting there. Tossing it around. It don't take long for this to, you know, heat up. So like I said, I do like mine a, a, a lot browner. Get it all browned up. Let me taste it. Oh. Oh my God. I love that chicken. Alright, let me cut my heat down. Cut my heat down now. Now that my chicken is the way I want it. Cut my heat down. Go ahead and now I'm going to add my pasta. Adding my angel hair pasta. Okay. Got our pasta in there. Go ahead and add one jar of the Bertoli. Let's add one jar first. Get some water in my jar. So I'm getting the rest of my sauce because y'all already know. I'm getting my stuff that I paid for. So, all right. A little water in there. Swish it around so I can get the rest of my stuff. Thank you very much, Bertoli. Thank you very much. All right. I'm going to cut this heat down. Okay. All right. Get everything all mixed up. Tossed around. Let me make sure y'all can see. Oh, yeah. Y'all knows it. Y'all is all in the business. Just going to mix this all up. See what's going on with the garlic bread. Because it looks like it's only got 12 seconds left in there. My timer. I'm going to cook it for another minute. Because it's not brown across the top. So, 
Do another minute on that Texas toast. All right. Okay. Pasta looking good, full of meat. Yes. I am going to add that second jar of bertoli. I'm going to add the second jar. I think we need the second jar. I like my um, Alfredo. I like it nice and creamy. Nice and creamy. I don't like dry pasta. Nice and creamy. Okay. All right. Ooh, that's looking good. Get this all mixed up. That's looking real good. I can't stand no dry pasta. Okay, okay. All right. Let me get this mixed up. And then I'm going to get that Texas toast out. Let me peek in on that toast. All right, because we don't want our bread burning. All right, get this all mixed up first. We got to get this mixed up real good. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. Nice and creamy. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Making sure you got it all stirred up at the bottom. Ooh, look at that. Them nice big chunks of chicken. I want I want chicken in every bite. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. that looks real good. Mm, that tastes good. But I do I need to add. I'm gonna take y'all in so y'all can look at that. I'm going to go ahead and get this Texas toast out. I don't need the Texas toast burning. Let me get that out. Ah, I didn't hear. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that Texas toast looking good. Oh, yeah. All right. So, now, I tasted it. And, yes, we do need to add. We need to add some things to this. We're gonna add the garlic salt. Garlic salt, guys. I'm just gonna do like one tablespoon. Not a lot. Need a lot of salt now. Need all that salt. I've added the garlic salt. I'm adding the garlic, garlic of le pepper. Garlic of le pepper seasoning. We'll do about a tablespoon of that. We won't do too much now. Do too much. And then I'm going to do my grated Parmesan and Romano. Going to do that. You know, I'm going to do about a tablespoon of that too. You know, that's going to give it, you know, more of an Italian taste. <laughs> All right. And of course, y'all know, child. Y'all, mm-hmm. Y'all, mm-hmm. Yes, parsley is in the house. We're going to do a tablespoon of parsley. Okay. Do a little extra parsley. Okay, child. Sit down somewhere, parsley. Sit down. Sit down, child. Sit down, parsley. Please. All right. Let's get this all mixed in. All mixed in. Y'all see how fast we made this meal? Quick and easy. The chicken was already cooked. Y'all know pasta don't take long at all. The uh, garlic bread, five minutes. Nice, quick meal that everybody loves. Gotta love some pasta, chicken, and Alfredo. Gotta love it. And you know what? I really like these angel hair noodles. I really like them. I mean, I like spaghetti noodles too, but when I fix a pasta, I like the angel hair. Because it's a thinner noodle, you know? It's not a whole clunk of noodle. It's a thin noodle. That's what I like about it. Oh, this looks amazing. Make sure I get everything up from the bottom. Make sure I get all that garlic, pepper, parmesan, parsley. Get that all mixed in. I'm going to cut my heat off. 
because we don't want to dry our pasta out. Keep it over that heat. It will dry all that pasta sauce out. I can't stand dry pasta. Look at that. Y'all look at that. Look at those nice chunks of chicken in there. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. I gotta taste it. Somebody gotta taste it, y'all. Oh, my God. That is so good. I don't need to add nothing else to that. Nothing else. You hear me? That's it. That's it. That's all, y'all. That's it. That's all. Look at that. Gorgeous. Amazing. And then let's go over here. I did just pull that Texas toast out. Quick meal, y'all. We done already. Ain't even been hanging out with y'all that long. We done already. Y'all know I'm taking y'all in. Look, look, look at it. Done already. Five minutes for that. Well, five and a half, six minutes. Look at that Texas toast. Done. Got our Texas toast. Bring y'all out of my business. Bring y'all out. Look at that. Pasta. Bring y'all out. Look at that. Chicken Alfredo. Done. Garlic bread. Done. Bam. That's it. This video only at 13 minutes. We did this. We did this too fast, y'all. I'm telling y'all, quick and easy meals. Quick and easy. All right. Y'all know what I'm saying? You seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.